Hi, Medina here and welcome back to Stem Cell Talks. Today we want to update you on some exciting news in tooth regeneration technology using stem cells. Now as you may remember from our blogs, we've discussed several studies that have used dental mesenchymal stem cells, but if you have not, here are some of the most prominent ones. Researchers at Tufts University School of Dental Medicine have been using human dental stem cells to regrow teeth. Now this method involves placing stem cells in a gel scaffold to grow tooth buds that resemble the buds that children normally have below their deciduous teeth, also known as baby teeth. The stem cell grown buds are then implanted into the jawbone where they grow into fully fledged adult teeth. This technique has been successfully tested in pigs. A similar study was conducted in Japan using epithelial and dental stem cells to not only grow the tooth bud, but also the supporting tissues. In this particular study, the teeth grew from buds into fully fledged teeth in just five months, and additional tests confirmed that the regrown teeth responded to orthodontic forces the same way a normal tooth would. This technique was successfully tested in canines. In a recent human study conducted at the University of Pennsylvania, stem cells from deciduous teeth have restored damaged permanent teeth. Now, as is often the case, children injure their teeth by chipping them, and the subsequent damage becomes significant over time as the tooth can become discolored, lose sensation, and eventually require extraction. Researchers used dental pulp stem cells from healthy deciduous teeth and seeded them into the damaged tooth, which had already lost sensation. In long-term follow-ups, the researchers noticed both a return of sensation in the damaged tooth and dentin regeneration. Additionally, the stem cells used were the patient's own stem cells, which eliminated the risk of rejection entirely. Stem cells in regenerative medicine are on the cusp of revolutionizing dentistry and innovating the standard of care with replacing artificial solutions with natural ones. The two animal studies were conducted on pigs and canines, which are larger model organisms that are more physiologically similar to humans, and the human trials predict where medicine will be heading in the near future. These treatments are also poised to offer personalized care by using autologous stem cells and highlight the pertinence of stem cell banking as an important component of the expanding health spans that the youth of today can expect in their lifetimes. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like us and to subscribe, and we'll see you again soon.